Hello, ladies. Welcome to Being a Man. I just saw that in Sweden, the amount of young people wanting to become a different sex is doubling every year. That means a lot of broads want to become dudes. Awesome. I love it. I love dudes. I hang out with dudes all the time. Welcome aboard. Um, I have noticed, though, that you're not great at it. I first noticed this when women would dress up as a man for Halloween and they'd have a cigar and their hair up in a fedora and like a woman's blazer and go, hey guys, I want to look at some tits. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I love sports. That's not how we talk. And then I've noticed now in these with these college kids, they, they sort of dress like 12-year-old wiggers. They'll have a big hat on, you know, that's sort of over their ears and they have their diminutive little woman heads still. And then they'll have their you know, low slung jeans and stuff with a chain wall and, yo, what's up? I'm a boy now. Whoa. That's not how we act either. So now that you're becoming a man, I would like to tell you as a man, the kind of stuff that we do, the kind of stuff we like, so you can further enjoy your life as a man. Number one. I'm going to do 10, so I'll try to make it quick. We think farts are interesting. Uh, women don't like farts. that They smell like poo-poo to them. But we, if we're sitting next to a guy and there's no ladies around, there's a toxic fart, you don't go, oh, my God, and run out crying. You go, whoa, dude, you're sick or something. What's going on there? And then you'll have an interesting discussion about it. And if you were to cup your fart in your hand and then de deliver it into a guy's face, he would maybe go, oh, 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 oh my God, dude. So you should uh, get used to that and get over your phobia of farts. Uh, number two, and this is related, we talk about shit a lot. Uh, we'll talk about the, the texture of it. We'll describe when we go. About uh, almost half and half uh, is sex and talking about feces and defecation. And I, I mean, I'm sorry to, to bore people who uh, aren't interested in becoming men with this topic. And we avoid it when ladies are around. But once you're in a room of all dudes, be prepared for maybe 37% diarrhea talk. Number three, we're gross, as you may have guessed from the first two. Uh, but we're not just gross with our topics. We're fundamentally gross. We're not into joy. I, maybe we have less sensors on our skin or something. But you know how the way you want to, like, slither around in silk sheets when you're nude? We don't. We could be okay with a burlap sack and a cot. We don't really enjoy things being nice. And if you'll notice, let's say, a coffee room in an all-male establishment, the, the mugs, we don't even wash our mugs. The fresh coffee goes over the old stained coffee and we drink it up. We'd wear the same socks every day if we didn't have women in our lives. So get used to grossness. You know, if you look at NASA uh, or Fox News, for example, the chairs are just falling apart and because no one cares. It's just a thing you sit on. It doesn't have to look nice. So get over your joy of furniture and nice things because we would happily eat a piece of cheese with mold on it. You have to do that if you're going to be a man. At the very least, you eat around the mold. Uh, and then just put the mold back in the fridge for when you're really hungry. Uh, number four, we don't need anything. And that goes back to what I was saying about uh, the cot. I mean, it's probably why we do so badly with divorce, because we're so sick of talking about it, and we're so sick of these lawyers getting all our money that when he says, we could end all this now if you're happy with just a, a cement box with a bed and a phone charger, and you go, you know what, let's just do that. Let's just do that. So, now that you're becoming a man, get used to just a pair of boots. Like, a lot of men, after they have a divorce, you go to his house, and it's just one fork, one knife, one spoon. Jimmy Kimmel's Uncle Frank was like this. He had one bowl, one plate, because he didn't want the dishes to pile up. That's the way we think. We'll have Here's a man thing that we'll do. We'll make spaghetti for dinner, we'll eat it out of the pot, fall asleep drunk in front of the TV, then wake up eight hours later, flip over the spaghetti so it looks like a, a whale's belly, it's kind of blanched, and then we'll have a few nibbles of that and go on with our day. Are you prepared for that? Because that's what we do. Number five. We like the album Diver Down by Van Halen. This is actually a good starter for you. We like the joke songs on it. We like uh, Eddie Van Halen's guitar solos. So I think the first step for you being a man and sort of understanding the way we operate would be to listen to that album maybe 70 times. Number six, you have to fight as a man and it sucks it's never because someone slapped your mom so you never have that brave heart yeah i'm genuinely mad fighting thing it's never that it's always you spilled a girl's water and then she told her boyfriend that you grabbed her ass you didn't and now he wants to fight you and you have to fight him 
or some guy is harassing some chick and no one else is your size in the restaurant and I'm diminutive and you have to go over and go, dude, you need to leave her alone. You need to get out of here, blah, blah, blah. And now you're in a fight that you feel nothing for. You don't like this guy or this girl, but you have to get in there. That's why you should never wear flip-flops as a man because you're essentially on the national reserves. You're, you're, you're ready to be drafted at any time. And the fight is never a cool... Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's always just like a... Uh, 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 and then... Uh, it's horrible. But you got to do it now that you're a dude. We need you on our team. You're in the reserves. Number seven, we are horny at all times. Now, I know ladies have a problem with this, but uh, you are better get used to it if you're going to be a dude. You remember in Men in Black where they took off that guy's face and there was a little dude in there that was just like, hey, don't let the earth die. Uh, that guy is in our head at all times, just like, I want to fuck everything that moves, do, 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 do everything that moves even when you're at your buddy's house and his nana his nona comes over with the noki here we make a decent for you that little guy is like i don't know maybe with some lingerie some high heel shoes we could work something out maybe or you go in a time machine back into her heyday we're constantly thinking about screwing things i mean inanimate objects are out dudes are out but for the most part every single human Woman is going through your brain as a maybe. So you better get used to that little men in black guy constantly telling you to get laid. Uh, number eight, we like to fix things. And we find it fascinating, too. Like, uh, say your car is idling way too high and it's freaking you out. Check the antifreeze. Is it empty? Yeah, it is. Get some antifreeze in there. We'll go back to normal. Oh, the same with technology, too. This is Men find this fascinating. You know the new MacBook Pros? They have no ports on either side. There's only one stupid port. So inevitably, that one port is full of a dongle that has a bunch of other ports on it. And you go, isn't me looking at that dongle proof that you screwed up by only having one outlet? I mean, you have um, even the iPhones with the battery cases on them. Isn't that proof that they suck? And it's not valuable real estate along the side. Does this discussion sound boring to you? Well, you're probably not a man because it's fascinating to men. And that brings us to number nine, how it's made. The show how it's made. And they show you making a rubber hose. It's just a long, long tube and there's powder everywhere and we have a bar in the middle and then we cut it and then we put this thing on. Men watch that and it's one of the few times they're not totally consumed with sex because we're just fascinated. Oh, like the making of this microphone. I can't wait to see that episode. We love how things are made, maybe because we end up making a lot of stuff, so it's plausible to us. I think a lot of women see a hose and they go, well, a man makes that, I don't have to worry about it. We're the guys who actually make the rubber hose, so when we see how it's made, we go, oh, that's how I would make a rubber hose if I was ever told I had to make a rubber hose. And we love it, so get used to that. And that brings me to the final one that you might be surprised about now that you're a man. We're actually sweeties. Yeah, I know uh, we're rapists, but we're also the guys that arrest rapists. I know we started slavery, but we ended it too. You can uh, have a glass half full, half empty thing, but I've known men for a long time, and we're actually a lot cuter and nicer than you'd think we are. We just want everyone to get along. We're, we're easily annoyed by loud noises and people going, meh, 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 That's why the divorce thing works out so well in women's favor. And it applies to pretty much everything. We just want you to calm down and sit down, and we don't want to fight. We already got in a fight about a glass of water about 30 seconds ago. So we just want things to be good. And I was talking to porn star uh, Mercedes Carrera recently on my show, and she told me about a thing that I thought was very telling. She said that male porn stars will sneak in loving intercourse in between shots. So when you see the like, yeah, you like that? Yeah, 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 dude. When the cameras are off, he's like, can we snuggle? And they'll like, and have lovemaking missionary position over on the side and hope they don't get caught because they're not in character. So now that you're a man, you should get ready for a lot of gross stuff, a lot of technical stuff, and a lot of nice stuff because that's basically what being a man is. Hey guys, thanks for checking out that video. I do a show uh, that you gotta pay for, subscribe to. It's called How's It Going, A, eh? And I talk to uh, interesting people about interesting stuff. And it's very serious and educational and political and smart. You can subscribe by clicking here.